Taking a look now, major averages heading into the final hour. We're looking pretty good in this third day of the rebound. We're shaking it off. We're shaking it off. Now here to discuss where this market goes today and also a preview of tomorrow's jobs report. Melissa Armo, the stock swoosh, and back with us, Miss Rochelle. All right, Melissa, let me start with you first. Uh, three days in a row, 450, 250, maybe another 250. Not bad. Not bad. Where are we looking? Well, this is playing out to be better than expected for this week, considering last week. Remember, ideally, we wanted Google to report well on Amazon. They didn't, but the market held its own. And let me tell you, from the drop-off we've had, everyone talked about October with the selling. We've retraced 50% of that, and more than 50% of that, I think, today into the close of the market. So that's a good sign. It's a positive sign. That Sometimes, though, 50% retracement, you go back the other way, though. I don't think that's going to happen, and it won't happen. So if we got Apple a V-shape. Well this is going to be a nice, straight V-shaped bounce. That doesn't bother me. That doesn't bother me at all. I don't think it bothers anyone if you're in the market, but it's just <laughs> it's good news to hear. So essentially, Mitch, in about two or three weeks, we'll forget October ever existed. I think maybe by tomorrow. We're for, oh, well, certainly on Tuesday, people are going to forget that October existed from a market you perspective. You think the midterms are that important? I think the midterms are very important. I think businesses care about it. I think uh, even the Main Street uh, investor cares about the midterms because tax reform was an important thing to drive this economy forward. And so let me throw a couple scenarios yeah. at you then. Uh, Dems win the House, uh, GOP keeps the Senate. Uh, what does it do for the market? I think gridlock is probably as crazy as it sound okay for the market because that would create status quo. Um, however, if there's a lot of uncertainty around the presidency and a lot of investigation, that could create a lot of anxiety. Let's go take a look out back on Silicon Valley because we're in Mountain View. Uh, the employees of Google slash Alphabet uh, going out uh, on a walk. Uh, they're protesting management's treatment, in this particular case of women, the cover-ups, uh, and just the lack of transparency there. Uh, a lot of issues for this company, Melissa, just a, a tour of, of issues. Uh, and I think it all centers around a very arrogant board of directors, uh, a little little clubbiness there. What does that mean for the company and the stock? You just mentioned they, they, they had a miss already. <laughs> miss and I talked about it last week as well because Google was a one to watch because if it reported well it would have been an immediate buy but they didn't. Google has dragged itself ever since July. This does not look as good as Amazon looked. This did not make new highs when the Dow made new highs like Amazon did. It certainly doesn't look anywhere near as good as Apple and Apple is near the highs no matter how it reports tonight. Apple is one of the strongest stocks in the market. Google has some troubles. I don't know what all of those troubles are internal or otherwise but just looking at the stock you can tell that the stock has had troubles. Here's my, th here's my thesis uh, Mitch. Uh, I watched Amazon report when the conference call began the stock dropped five bucks as they talked about how badly they were going to do how much money they had to spend but as the call went on the maturation of Mark Elliott Zuckerberg took the stock up 11 points a 38 billion dollar reversal to the upside looks like Google needs that kind of a turn that kind of a message of management of leadership and these this is an industry that and we talked earlier about what could happen if you have the, the Dems versus the Republicans control. This is an industry, social media uh, and these new media companies is an industry that's going to get a lot of uh, focus and attention in Washington, D.C. And I think that's weighing on them as well. Really quickly, here's what you want to see tonight. You want to look for Apple up at all. Anything Apple is up, five cents, ten cents, a dollar. Anything Apple is up unless it's up $50 tonight in the earnings. Apple is a buy. It's a what puts, what sends market. it higher? The, a good earnings, a good call. We'll see what they report. Well, they all tonight. report good know. earnings, right? The, 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 no, buying. You want to see buying. You want to see institutional You want to see the buying. reaction to the stock. I want to see stock. a gap up. I want to see a difference. I want to see the stock tonight in the pre-market and the post-market tomorrow Are you morning at a stock? higher price. No, You're not. but, but I, if it does that, because it could gap down. Of course. You don't know. Mitch, so you have to wait. What's Apple going to do? Um, I, I think this is one of a, this is a company that's standing out differently from some of its peers. Uh, yeah. and, and just as Melissa said, I think you're going to see uh, over the months to come, a lot of these companies behaving differently in the market. But the, the bar is very high, right? Uh, we just had a, pr a prior um, tech analyst saying they're expected to sell 78 million uh, iPhones in the holiday quarter. So they've got to be able to articulate that tonight. You think they can do that? I think the consumer is pretty strong, confidence is strong, and that's going to drive all of the sales. You only have 20 tomorrow. seconds. Job support, do you want it to be good? Will it be good? I think it'll be good, and the, we, we, we want to see job creation, and we want to see the workforce participation. Will it be good? You want it to be, be good. good. I think it's be good. Does the market want it to be good? The market does, and the market wants Apple. The jobs report tomorrow, rally into this and pretend that October never even existed. All right, here's my theory. Apple, the most inexpensive stock in the entire market. If it goes up or goes down, I think you want to chase it no matter what. And we're going to blow away those job numbers tomorrow. Thank you, Mitch. Thank you, Melissa. All right, Liz, again, the CP effect.